So, I am going to be showing you how to make a circuit with the new 1.20 chiseled bookshelves. Since it's really close, probably about a month away. Uh, this is my second attempt recording the video, because the last time it was extremely laggy and was going at like 10 FPS for the video, and I don't want that because it looked bad. But that does mean I already know what I'm doing, so it's going to be much shorter, possibly, if I, or than if I was doing it from scratch. So what you need for this is target blocks, observers, some glass, which I don't get why they put in colored blocks, it literally has no color. It is clear. But you're going to need glass, target blocks, observers, sticky pistons, some sort of building block, repeaters, redstone dust, chisel bookshelf, and a redstone comparator. So, you're going to start off by placing down something like this, and then making sure you can extend it like that. This is all you really need and then the way you power something else later is kinda up to you. You're gonna wanna put your... You're gonna wanna put your chisel bookshelf two blocks above that with an observer underneath it looking at it. That will detect whenever any book input is changed. Next, build this out if you're doing three, you can build it out as this far, or don't copy this exact amount, you can kind of adapt it to based on what you have for your size, but you want to put a comparator here, a target block here, and then a sticky piston going into, going into that. Next, you can just build up like this and power your sticky piston like that. Make sure this is on more than one tick. So now, if I go grab a book, you should get this to extend and then come back. I like it on four ticks because it gives it the most time to reset the whole thing because this is a reset mechanism. So four or you can do more if you extend it longer if you're finding that four isn't working. Now you're going to build out the desired length. I'm going to replace this so it doesn't have any interaction data. Oh yeah, I should mention the way these work is the signal output is whatever the last slot interacted with was. So it's not based on how many books are in it, it's not based on what books are where, it's just the last slot interacted with, putting one in or taking one out. It doesn't matter which. They're both gonna give the same output if they're in the same slot. Yeah, so you build out the desired length one more with redstone dust, so if I want the third one to be the one I want to activate, I build out four. You're going to want two blocks past it, and then build like this. Repeater here, repeater here, and repeater here on three ticks. This is for the reset mechanism using four. If it's longer, you can do four, but I find three works best. Connect those two up with redstone. So now, if you put a book in book one or two, nothing happens because redstone can't reach it. If you put it in three, you get an output. You might have noticed it flickered off and then on. That flicker off is just so then if you interact with one that's a higher number or a higher output it'll turn it off first and then lock it off 
using these repeaters. Uh, if you want to avoid that when you are outputting it to something, just put another repeater here on four ticks. Now that should, in most cases, stop the flickeriness of whatever you're doing. I know it worked for me earlier. I'm gonna show this working with a little flush with the wall 2x2 two two piston door. I'm not gonna really decorate at all, but I will be back once I have done that. So I just finished building it. Uh, now, if I interact with slot 1, nothing happens. Slot 5, nothing happens. Slot 3, my door will open. And it didn't jitter because of the way this works. If I didn't have this, it would. Uh, if we watch the redstone for when I do that, it's because the turn off on this is so brief, this doesn't have time to uh, turn back on. Or, no, it will have a little bit of jitter when putting the same input twice, but on first activation it shouldn't. But if you activate it again with the correct input, you might get that little thing. Yeah, that's basically it. Pretty simple little thing. That's just the door. This is the whole thing. So I'll just go through it again. Observer, looking into your bookshelf. I'm just gonna. That goes into redstone dust with a repeater on four. That goes up into a target block to power a piston, which will push the target block out of the way of this to be the reset. The comparator comes out the back of that into the target block. You build out your desired input number, so from top left to bottom right, one through six, plus one in redstone dust. You'll build out two more blocks with a repeater on one tick, curve around into another repeater with one tick. You have the repeater here on three ticks, and then a four tick repeater here to reduce jitteriness and that's all you need uh if you build it with a delay or with an input of one it's the same thing you just shift it a bit closer and as long as you don't have anything that will connect to this it should be fine and yeah hope this tutorial is helpful uh figured this out pretty quickly while messing around took me a little bit to figure out how these work though but uh, yeah, uh, if you have any builds you record yourself making or just record being completed that use this, feel free to send them to me by leaving the link in the comments. I'll probably try and turn on any comments that have links for reviews, but as long as it's a YouTube link, you probably shouldn't need it. Because I don't want to be able to 100% trust whatever videos you're sending me. But I will. So, yeah. Uh, link goes below if you use this in any designs. If you find a simpler design, also send that because that'd be really useful. And, yeah. I'll probably go over some builds that use this in a future video if there's enough of them. Than that uh leave a like if you found this useful possibly subscribe for more minecraft stuff i've noticed that's what's doing best so probably going to be doing a lot more of that and yeah i will see you all in another video